In a powerful and emotional address, Nathan Clark, the grieving father of an 11-year-old boy killed in a tragic school bus accident, has called on former President Donald Trump and political figure J.D. Vance to cease using his son's death as a political tool. The boy, Aidan Clark, lost his life in August 2023 when a minivan, driven by Hermanio Joseph, a Haitian immigrant without a valid driver's license, collided with his school bus in Springfield, Ohio. The accident, which also injured several other children, has since become a focal point in heated political debates. Recently, Trump's campaign and J.D. Vance have controversially invoked Aidan's name in their political rhetoric. On social media, Vance referred to Aidan's death in a post claiming that a child was murdered by a Haitian migrant, while Trump repeated similar claims during a presidential debate. Both have circulated unfounded rumors about Haitian immigrants in Springfield, including false allegations about them eating pets, a claim that has been thoroughly debunked. In a poignant city commission meeting, Nathan Clark, alongside his wife Danielle, expressed his outrage and heartbreak. He criticized the political figures for exploiting his son's death to fuel divisive narratives. They have spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain. This needs to stop now, Clark said. His emotional plea highlighted how these actions have reopened old wounds and compounded the family's grief. Clark's statements underscore a crucial point, Aiden's death was a tragic accident, not a murder or a political statement. My son was not murdered, Clark clarified. He was accidentally killed by an immigrant from Haiti. He further emphasized that the tragedy has deeply affected their community, state, and the nation at large. However, he insists that turning this personal loss into a platform for hate and misinformation is unacceptable. The father's comments came in response to the Trump campaign's use of Aiden's image and the false portrayal of the circumstances surrounding his death. Clark expressed a desire to protect his son's memory from being tarnished by political agendas. Did you know that one of the worst feelings in the world is to not be able to protect your child? Even worse, we can't protect his memory when he's gone. Please stop the hate, he pleaded. This plea for respect and decency amidst a backdrop of political exploitation highlights the broader issues of how personal tragedies are sometimes manipulated for political gain. Nathan Clark's message is a stark reminder of the human cost behind such debates and the need for compassion over sensationalism. Stay subscribed for more videos.